We come to school to study and to show off, but teachers don't support our striving for beauty and forbid any makeup in class. So we figured out new ways of how to sneak makeup into class. The Blue-Eyed Girl announces a beauty parade. She has brought lip gloss, face powder, foundation, and makeup pencils into class today. Except that Miss Smith is on guard as usual. No makeup is allowed in class. I will have to use some tricks. I've put my EOS lip balm into a regular pencil sharpener. Take the middle detail with the lip balm out of an EOS container. Break the sharpener off an appropriate container. Hot glue the hole and attach the lip balm instead of the sharpener. I take the pencil sharpener out of my pencil case. My friend can moisturize her lips so that no one notices. When she closes the EOS balm with a cap, it looks like a regular sharpener again. Amazing disguise! I need a correction pen. My friend gives me her makeup bag instead of the pencil case. I take a correction pen out of it, but it doesn't work. What's wrong with it? Paint a mascara tube to be of the same color as a correction pen. Remove the tip of a used correction pen and hot glue it to the bottom of the mascara. Rip off the label and glue it to a makeup tube. I try to figure out how this correction pen works. Curly Sue offers a radical approach. She suggests taking the barrel apart. I twist the cap and take out a mascara wand. Now it's crystal clear why this correction pen doesn't correct my mistakes. On the other hand, it emphasizes my lashes nicely. I need to do it quickly so that Miss Smith doesn't get me busted. We will make her think that this is a regular correction pen. We are doing paper crafts and suddenly find out what we've forgotten about the glue. Sharp-sighted, blue-eyed girl notices two glue sticks on Miss Smith's desk. We ask the teacher to lend us her glue. Miss Smith got deep into chatting with the PE teacher, so she gives us her glue sticks without looking at them. I give a liquid glue pen to my friend and I take a glue stick for myself. Something is wrong with this glue stick. Well, time flies and I still need to glue my paper craft. Cut off a beauty blender to be of the same size as a glue stick container. Make a hole for the stick on the bottom and hot glue the blender into the clean glue stick container. Miss Smith has some strange school supplies. This glue doesn't glue at all because it's a beauty blender. The blue-eyed girl also can't figure out what's wrong with the liquid glue pen. It looks more like foundation. Remove the cap with a dispenser from a used liquid gel pen. Pour out the glue remains and clean out the container. Fill the tube with BB cream. It is impossible to glue paper with a beauty blender, and foundation doesn't have any gluing properties. It looks like we've blown Miss Smith's cover and now we know where she hides her makeup. The teacher finishes chatting and realizes that she has gotten busted, but she skillfully pretends that she has no clue about the makeup. And when the girls go out for a break, she takes all the evidence away from their desk at once. Curly Sue brings a textbook into class once in a blue moon. Where does this eagerness to study come from? It's easy, a book is just a makeup stash. Take bookboard, which is 9 inches wide, and mark 5 inches, 1 inch, and 5 inches again on its longer sides. Score the lines. Bend the board, shaping it like a book cover. Wrap it with color paper. Snip off the corners. Bend the cover so that the book could close. Attach foam rubber sheet to the inside. Cut out two widening strips from white felt. Hot glue to cover the sides. Attach two pieces of felt to a white zipper. Fasten the detail to the cover. Print out a book title and attach it. 
My friend takes out all of her favorite beauty products out of the book. This textbook doesn't keep knowledge, it keeps makeup. Miss Smith asks us to open the books. But when she discovers what the book actually is, she takes the makeup stash away for herself. My friend takes out a box of wax crayons, but they are so tricky. Her crayon broke at once, and mine is writing in a weird way. Maybe it's not too late to give them back to the store while well, they are still in their guarantee period. You don't understand. These crayons guarantee my beauty in class. Take out a couple of Crayola wax crayons. Try to find makeup pencils of similar colors. Cut off the proper length. Take off the labels from the crayons. Wrap the labels around the makeup pencils and hot glue. Shade the wooden stem of the pencil with the marker of an appropriate color. Put the pencils into the box. I'm doing my lips with a crayon. As if on cue, the teacher appears next to me. She takes away my crayons and suspects all other stationery of being makeup. Keep calm, Miss Smith. It's a regular pen. If you feel bored during classes, file your nails. But the teacher doesn't think it's a good idea. She is sure that fingers are supposed to hold a pen, but not a nail file. And she doesn't allow having extra objects on the desk. But my friend has a secret weapon. It's a nail file bracelet. Carefully, take off the strip of abrasive coating from a colorful nail file. Attach it to a plastic bracelet. This bracelet is her beauty know-how. I don't want to give it back. I will perform in a circus with it, but my friend is afraid that the teacher may see my tricks and take away my bracelet. I don't believe her. She just wants it back. In fact, I know that Miss Smith doesn't like circuses. 2 times 2 equals 4. This is the dumbest calculator in the world. Why doesn't it work? Actually, it's not a calculator. It's an eyeshadow palette. Trace an eyeshadow palette on a sheet of black foam rubber and cut it out. Round the corners. Hot glue it to the lid. Make colored buttons. Cut out small equal squares from a green foam rubber sheet. Draw a circle, three ovals, and one rectangle on a red foam rubber sheet. Cut them out. Hot glue colored buttons to the black base. Make a screen. Cut out a rectangle from a black foam rubber sheet. Attach the frame to thin clear plastic. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the screen to the calculator. Draw symbols on the buttons with a black pen. The purpose of this calculator is not to count, but to make us beautiful. But the teacher suspects us of using makeup again. Don't worry, Miss Smith. It's not makeup. It's a calculator. We increase the percent of beauty in class. Christy can't find her ruler. She even uses her phone. Where is the clumsy Christy app on my phone? And Redhead has a very special ruler. It hides a lipstick palette. Glue four identical general purpose templates together. Trace them on clear plastic. Cut it out and attach together. Add grapeseed oil to a broken lipstick and melt it in a microwave. Fill the template with lipsticks of different colors. We can make more than just straight lines with this ruler. We can also define our lips. Who said that geometry can't be beautiful? We arrange a geometry beauty salon in class. Our teacher is interested in our ruler, too. Penny was in such a rush to get to school that she forgot to apply lipstick. Here, take our tool. You definitely need it. At least the students take care of their teacher's beauty. The students decide to take care of Miss Penny Poppins and sneak Wonder Glue to her. This glue is unusual. It has a sprayer. How am I supposed to use it? And it smells very nice. It looks like Miss Penny Poppins figured out the purpose of this glue. Cut off a nozzle of an empty glue tube. Put a pen-shaped vial of perfume into the clean tube. Fasten it with hot glue. This glue will attract a lot of male attention to our teacher. You're welcome, Miss Poppins! My friend wants to erase her pencil and takes my eraser. Stop it! 
It's not an ordinary eraser. It's a makeup holder. Cut out a square middle in the eraser. Work on the cutout to make it flat. Crush broken eyeshadow into powder. Transfer it into the eraser hole. Add a few drops of rubbing alcohol and press it down. Cover the eyeshadow. I show my secret makeup holder to my friend. Suddenly, Miss Smith sneaks up and blows into the eyeshadow. We'll have to clean the desk for removing the makeup. Miss Smith's dreaming of being a schoolgirl. In her dream, she comes to her friends, bringing her makeup treasures. We'll need an empty, clean paint container. Put an eyeshadow from a broken palette. Besides, she's got a notepad-shaped eyeshadow. Cover the edge of an old eyeshadow palette with white acrylic paint. Trace the palette twice to get two cardboard circles. Cut them out. Cover with scrapbook paper. Write notes on a piece of paper. Attach it on top. Glue the circles to the palette. Use a pen to draw strips across the white edge. Miss Smith puts all her DIY makeup on the desk. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the bell so you don't miss new awesome life hacks.